What's up guys, this is Eric here from Freelance Pakistan's YouTube channel and in this video, I will be showing you guys that how you can create a really cool one-page website using the Divi theme in just an under an hour. Yes, you heard it right, just in an hour, you will be able to create a cool, responsive and an elegant website like my personal website. So to carry along with this tutorial, you just need to have basic knowledge of WordPress and obviously you need a Divi theme. By the way, I know I'm wearing a big shirt. That is because I really love this design and I, I don't really have this shirt in my size at the moment so I had to wear this one. Anyways, let's just stop wasting our time here and start the tutorial. Uh, so basically this is the site that we're going to design uh, in this tutorial and uh, actually this is my personal site and here you can see that I added this cool typing effect animation and a lot of people had been asking me uh, on our Facebook page on our Facebook group that how I you know added this uh, typing effect animation so stay with me because in this tutorial I will show you guys that how I added this typing effect animation Anyways, this is my site. Uh, I have this cool image here uh, on which when we hover uh, a cool border uh, kind of effect appears. Uh, then we have these two buttons. Then we have a section where my stats are being displayed. Uh, then my services obviously uh, and um, then uh, some more stats that uh, how many projects I've completed and some other stuff and then um, this is how I am displaying my portfolio. So actually they are in a laptop placeholder and this looks pretty cool actually. Uh, so like when we click on a laptop, it will lead us to the site um, that I designed. So this is a really cool um, way to showcase your work. And then uh, I have this testimonial sections uh, and it looks cool as well. And then uh, I have a section to display my YouTube videos, uh, which you can see here. And then in the end, I have this contact form, these social media icons, and then this custom footer that I uh, designed using the uh, DB 4.0 uh, theme builder option. Uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to copy the same design. And if you want to learn that how you can uh, design a portfolio, a one page portfolio website, either if it is for a business or if it is for any single person or for yourself as well. Uh, so I will be working on live site this time. And uh, I guess let's just start. And so let's just go to the dashboard and um, create a new page here. And uh, let's just name this page as uh, 2020 okay um, publish this page publish uh, also you can see that here I'm using the dot navigation so if you want to uh, use the dot navigation uh, you can do so by simply um, going to this DB page settings and uh, enabling the dot navigation option so let's just update it and um, click on use DB builder Okay, so our visual builder has loaded up and now let's just start building it from scratch and um, So here we have a standard section uh, which has a parallax background uh, So what we're going to do here is that uh, we, we are going to use this section here uh, We are going to open up the section settings and uh, we are going to add a background uh, so the background image that I'm using is a uh, This image here so I'm going to select this image and the image size is 3000 by 2000 pixels so I'm going to upload this image here and then I'm going to select let's just uh, drag it here uh, like this and uh, just enable the use parallax effect and the method the parallax method that we are going to use is going to be the CSS cool and save the changes okay so we have our background ready now what we have to do what we need to do is that we need to add this text module here 
So we're going to add a new row, a single column row, and then here in it, we are going to add a text module like this. And we're going to type in greetings people. Let's just say like this, select this and uh, change its style to something like heading three, like this. Go to design heading text and uh, select heading three because we are using this style select heading 3 and uh, change its font to something like let's just say uh, let's just go with Roboto and I'll change the text color to white and the alignment to center like this and maybe let's just change the font width to thin like this and add a one pixel letter spacing uh, to our heading 3 and save our changes here Okay, so uh, we have this text ready. Now uh, to add this typing effect animation, what we are going to do here is that we're going to save our uh, the changes that we created and we're going to open up our dashboard here. Uh, now to add the typing effect, what we need to do is that we need to install a plugin. And the plugin that we need to install is called typing effect. typing effect uh, so this is the uh, plugin that we are using and it is created it is developed by 93 digital uh, so go ahead and install and activate the plugin I've already done it uh, so here is this plugin so once you have activated the plugin you will see this uh, typing effect on your left side so just simply click it and this kind of screen will show up on your screen uh, so here we have the uh, option to add the sentences for example like if we go here you can see that this is the first sentence then this is the second sentence that is being typed and then this is the third sentence that is being typed so here we can uh, add any number of sentences that we want to um, get typed uh, so let's just add some sentences here so the first sentence that we are going to add is going to be uh let's just say creative and then the second sentence uh smart and add a new sentence by clicking on this icon on this button and let's just say spartans okay so once we have our sentences ready we have these options that we can change to increase or decrease the typing speed the delay and other uh, options as well so we want this animation to play on loop so we're going to check this box and now we can see a preview here so if you want to increase the typing speed of our animation we will decrease the value but if you want to decrease the speed of our animation we will increase the value so let's just say we change it to something like 80 here like this cool and if you want to add a start delay you can add it by increasing the value which says that 1000 equals to one second and the back speed let's just change it to 80 as well like this and um, let's just save our settings here so simply click on generate short code and here you will see the short code here so just copy the short code from here now what we're going to do here is that we are going to add a new row a single column row and we are going to add a text module and we're going to go to text remove all this text then we are going to go to this text tab and we are going to paste our short code here now we will go to the visual and we will click here and add our sentence before the animation uh, for example i have added this i am text before the short code so in this case i'm going to add we are like this and now change the heading style to heading two or heading one whatever you want uh, to, to select so let's just say i will change it to heading one now let's just go to design heading text heading one and change the heading font to roboto like this change the text color to white alignment to centered and increase the font size to something like let's just say 
55 pixels like this and now here you can see that this the text that is being typed is in uh, bold so to make these changes what we're going to do here is that we're going to save our changes from here and we're going to select our this text uh, this text here and we're going to change it to bold like this now open up its settings again go to heading text and change the font weight to something like light like this and save our changes like this so once we uh, exit our visual builder we are going to see that our sentence uh, will start to get typed like this so uh, it's a little bit fast but we can obviously adjust um, the speed of type and then the speed uh, with which it goes back so this is how i added the typing effect animation um, so let's just continue on designing our website so we have this text ready and now we, we can see that we have these three social media icons here so to add these social media icons what we are going to do here is that we're going to add social media follow module and we're going to select the uh, social media icons that we want to display so let's just say add we add a um, YouTube social media icon here and what we have to do now is that we have to delete uh, their background like this like this go back open up uh, Twitter settings and delete its background as well go back open up Facebook settings and delete its background as well like this and now we are going to go to design alignment and change the alignment to centered like this and now uh, and here you can see that we have a lot of space between these two texts so we are going to simply decrease the spacing from both modules and rows uh, so open up its settings uh, design spacing and uh, decrease the border margin like this looks cool so we have our social media icons ready decrease their spacing as well like this cool so once we have our settings ready our social media icons ready now we ha we need to add a button so let's just add a new row here or let's just add another module in the same row and this time add a button module and for the button module for the text of it we're gonna select it as a portfolio like this and for the link um, we're gonna we're not gonna add any link yet but we're gonna go in design tab uh, change the button alignment to center and go to button use custom style for button and like this now let's just decrease the text size to something like uh, 16 pixels and for the button text color we want it to remain white on both the uh, cases on, on desktop on normal mode and on hover as well so let's just change it to white as well like this and for the button background we want the button background to remain transparent and on hover we want the button background to, to change into white uh, but it will look su super awkward so let's just change the button text on hover color to uh, this yellow like this now let's just go down and change the button border radius to something like 26 pixels like this and the button border color on desktop it should be white and on hover it should be white as well like this and we can also uh, change the button font weight and font and uh, when we don't want to show the button icon so we're gonna just simply change it to no and uh, let's just simply add a one pixel letter spacing to our button like this and save our changes by pressing ctrl plus s so always make sure that you save every change that you make uh, so we have our button ready but here you can see that we have a full width uh, image a background image so to make it a uh, full width let's simply open up um, section settings 
go to design spacing and increase the top and bottom padding so let's just say we change the padding to something like uh, 150 pixels from from both top and bottom and hit save like this so we have our uh, full width uh, header kind of thing ready so we're gonna save our changes again and here we can see that we have this section now so uh, to make this section uh, we're gonna simply add another section so this time we are going to use the specialty section so we're gonna add a specialty section and the structure that we are going to use is going to be this one right here so we're gonna use this structure but first let's just uh, change the background color of our section to uh, something like 131414 like this dark gray and save changes uh, so let's just add our first module here and this is going to be the image module add an image module and uh, select our image here we have our image ready upload an image so we have our image ready and now uh, let's just go to design alignment change the alignment to uh, centered like this and uh, go to box shadow and add a box shadow to our um, image like this and change the box shadow color to this yellow again uh, now decrease the blur strength to zero pixels so that uh, our color becomes a solid color here and now go to the horizontal box shadow position you see hover options and on hover we want our a box shadow to appear on this side so we are going to adjust the uh, position like this to minus 8 pixels and the box shadow vertical position on hover it should go a little bit on the top so we're gonna decrease it to minus 6 pixels as well and we're gonna save our changes here now we're gonna add a single row here and we're gonna add the text module and in the text let's just say okay let's just copy the text that I used here control C and paste it here so basically it's heading 2 so this text is heading 2 so we're gonna select heading 2 go to design heading text heading 2 and now create changes so let's just change the color to white and uh, font weight to something like a uh, semi board like this and add a one pixels ledger spacing as well like this and change the heading text size to something like uh, let's just say 32 pixels and hit save now uh, let's just add a little bit margin to the text from top so we're gonna go in spacing and add a uh, 12 pixels uh, margin from top and hit save and uh, now let's just add another module here and add a divider module here yes we want to show divider go to design line change the line color to this again and uh, just leave it the way these options are go to sizing increase the divider weight to 2 pixels and decrease the width to something like 10% uh, like this and hit save now again let's just decrease the spacing between these two modules to something like this cool so we have our heading ready now let's just add a new uh, row here a single column row here and add a text module and here let's just copy this text here and paste it once more and one time again like this uh, so we're, we are not really gonna make any changes to our text because it looks cool the way it is so we're gonna simply hit save like this and now we're gonna add two buttons here and the first button is hire me and the second button is contact so um, 
what we're going to do here is that we're going to simply duplicate our button here, drag it and drop it like this. So we're going to open up its settings. We're going to change it to hire me. And for link, uh, you can add any link to your button. For example, if you have a Fiverr profile uh, or an Upwork profile, you can add the link of your profile in this button. And uh, like if you are designing it for a company, then you can uh, name the button and add the link accordingly. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to add a hashtag here. And um, I'm going to go to design alignment change the alignment to left and for button now what i want to do is that i want my text to appear in this yellow color like this and on hover i want it to change to white like this and for the button background i don't need a button background on normal state but on hover i want it to change into uh, this color right here and uh, for the border color on hover it should change to this color and on desktop it should uh, also be of the same color like this and i'm gonna hit save i'm gonna uh, simply duplicate this here and i'm gonna drag it here open up its settings go to design alignment change it to left and name this as contact and for now i'm not going to add any link in this button again go to design button and this time uh, i want to add a button background and this button background should be like this one and on hover state the background should go away so i'm going to change it to transparent on hover mode and the button text color on normal state it should be white and on hover state it should change to this yellow color like this and button border color on hover it should change to this color and on normal state it should also remain like this now we're gonna hit save and maybe let's just uh, switch their places like this and drag this button to this section now we can see that we have a lot of space between these two buttons so to fix the space between these two buttons what we're going to do is that we're going to open up row settings design sizing use custom gutter width and decrease the custom gutter width to one pixels like this uh, but we still have uh, a lot of space between these two buttons so let's just simply uh, the second buttons model settings go to design spacing and add a negative margin to the button like this so let's just say around 240 pixels and hit save our changes now let's just exit the visual builder and see how far we have made in redesigning my home page so we have this cool uh, typing effect animation we have this social media icons we have this button here then we have the parallax effect we have this heading we have this image on which when we hover uh, this kind of border comes up and it looks really cool and then we have these two super cool buttons on which when we hover they change their style so so far so good by the way i'm to be very honest i'm thinking that i should change my green color to uh, this yellow color because it looks super cool uh, do let me know in the comments below that should i change my color scheme from green to yellow anyways let's just enable our visual builder again go to our website and now let's just simply recreate this section so our builder is loading here and let's just now create a new section here uh, a regular section here and uh, insert a three column row here close the settings open section settings go to background add a background image and uh, the background image that we are using here is uh, this one upload an image and again use parallax effect and the parallax method that we are using is the CSS so change the method 
and save our changes like this uh, now what I did here was I added a blurb module then I added this text module this divider and then I added these text uh, modules again so let's just add a blurb module here and uh, let's just delete the body text here and go to image and icon and select use icon and uh, let's just add this icon here and maybe let's just remove the title text as well and use a text module instead so we have this image ready let's go to design image and icon and change the image color to this and image alignment to centered and use icon font size yes and decrease the icon size to around 65 pixels like this and save our changes now let's just copy out these modules and drag them here and then drag this one and drop it here and uh, let's just change the icon really quickly so let's just change it to something like this and uh, let's just change it to something like this cool so we have our icons ready now what we need to do is that we need to add the text so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna duplicate our module here and we're gonna drop it here and open up its settings and uh, let's just simply change it to something like creativity go to design heading text heading 2 and decrease its size to something like this and change the alignment to centered as well like this and let's just increase the letter spacing to 3 pixels now let's just decrease the spacing between the icon and the text uh, like this copy the text and drop it here copy it again and drop it here and for the spacing let's just copy module styles and paste module styles like this and again paste module styles like this cool so we have our uh, text ready now if we want to add a divider uh, we can simply copy the divider here and drop it here and then decrease its size so let's just for now go without the divider so for the text here now what we're going to do is that we are going to add a text module and uh, let's just add this here and uh, simply copy this text here and paste it here and uh, so this is the heading 3 that we are using and this is again the heading 3 that we are using and this is a simple body text uh, so let's just go to design heading text heading 3 and change our heading 3 uh, color to white like this and uh, make it semi bold like this decrease the size to something like 19 pixels and add two pixels letter spacing to them as well and for the body text let's just go to text and change the color to white like this and change its font weight to light and add a letter spacing of one pixels as well save our changes here and let's just add a margin from top so let's just go to spacing and add a margin of around let's just say 20 pixels looks cool save our changes here and copy our text drop it here like this so we have the text ready but now here you can see that I used these bar counters so to add these bar counters simply what we're gonna do here is that uh, we're gonna add a new uh, module change it to bar counters and 
open up its settings to so the title let's just say that uh, photoshop change the percentage to something like 76 uh, go design bar and now change the bar background color to this color as well I go to uh, title text and change it to roboto change the text color to white and add a three pixels uh, two pixels lighter spacing here and uh, maybe change the font weight to light like this now uh, let's just go to border and make its corners round so let's just increase the roundedness of our borders to something like let's just say uh, 25 pixels like this hit enter and save now let's just copy this module again like this and uh, decrease the spacing between these audios like this and then we can adjust the values of our bar counters to make them look cool so uh, we have our second section our first stat section ready now it's time to move to the services uh, section uh, okay so let's just uh, create the next section uh, so we're gonna add a new section here regular and close this and now change the background color again to 131414 so let's just quickly change our background color hit save and uh, uh, let's just add a row here a single column row here and close this go to here copy this module and drag it all the way down and drop it here now let's just open its settings go to design heading text heading 2 change its alignment to centered and uh, decrease its uh, size to something like 23 pixels and change the text to let's just say our services our services like this go to design and now we can increase its size to as much as we want so let's just say we keep it to something like uh, 35 pixels hit save go again to the top copy this divider and now again drag it all the way down and drop it here like this open up divider settings go to design sizing change the module alignment to centered and decrease the width to something like 8% and hit save again so we have our text ready now we're gonna add a three column row like this and here we are going to add blurb modules so let's just add these blurb modules here and for the title let's just change it to uh, creative planning and uh, we can add a little description of what kind of service we provide here so let's just uh, keep it the way it is and for the image and icon let's just use icon and for the creativity let's just change the icon to this atom type icon and uh, go to design image and icon change the uh, icon color to this and uh, use icon font size and again decrease the icon size to something like this and for the title text let's just change it to uh, roboto we can use different uh, fonts but for this tutorial i'm using just roboto but if you go and look at my site you can see that i've used two uh, fonts uh, i don't exactly remember the name of this font uh, but i guess this is the default open sans uh, font also i found this typo here which i'm gonna fix after this tutorial anyways uh 
let's just change the color to white uh, alignment to centered and uh, add letter spacing of about three or about of about two pixels like this go to text and uh, for the body text actually change the alignment to centered as well and for the body text color simply make it a little brighter like uh, this this color a2 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 like this let's just go to content text and uh, delete all these lines like this now it looks cool and now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna save our changes we're gonna copy this module here and we're gonna drag this here we're gonna make another duplicate and we're gonna drag this module here uh, okay so let's just uh, change the title and icon of our blurb here uh, so let's just change it to something like uh, business ideas let's just see because I don't know what else to type here at the moment and uh, change the icon to something like um, let's just say just change this icon to something like this and for this module for this blurb change the title uh, to quick no to something like um, easy solutions easy solutions and uh, change the icon to something like this one and save our changes uh, so like uh, so now if we go back to our home page to my home page you can see that I have this border here which separate these uh, three uh, blurbs so if you want to add the borders what you can do is that you can just simply go to the center module and open up its design settings and uh, go to border and first let's just add a right border here and add a width of around one pixels like this and drag it here you can see like this and then for the left border add a one pixel border on the left as well uh, then we can adjust the spacing of this uh, module and it will look cool like this I have added a little bit of margin so let's just open up its settings again go to design and go to spacing and here let's just add a six pixels uh, let's just say just add four pixel uh, padding to the left and to the right side as well and now it looks cool so let's just save our settings again and the next section we have is this section actually and we are actually using the same image so it looks very cool when we go down and it comes up like this so uh, this section is very easy to create one like this uh, let's just add a section here a regular section and I'll go here and add a background image and select the same background image like this and use parallax effect and change it to CSS and hit save so we have this ready now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna add a four column row here like this and now we're gonna add a blur module to add the icon so let's just add a blur module here and delete all our text here go to image use icon and for the icon uh, let's just use this heart icon and let's just select this one go to design image and icon select this color here and uh, use icon font size and decrease the font size to something like 50 pixels like this cool save our changes uh, simply just uh, copy module here and paste it here paste it here and paste it here by pressing ctrl plus v or command plus v on mac and now let's just simply and quickly change the icons to something to anything actually so let's just change it to something like this and this one to something like uh, 
this and this one to something like uh, let's just say um, to this cool and now what we're going to do here is that we're going to add a new module below our blur module and we're going to add a counter module so we basically have three different types of counter modules the bar counters the circle counter and the number counter module we have already used the bar counters so now we're going to use the number counter module here so let's just add this module here and for the title uh the title is satisfied clients let's just say satisfied clients and let's just change the number to 1098 uh, and in the elements we're gonna disable the percentage sign now we're gonna go to design and for the title text we want it to show in white color in center and we want the title font way to change to light and we're gonna add a two pixels light spacing to it and uh, let's just decrease the title text size to something like let's just say 15 pixels and for the uh, number text what we're going to do here is that we're going to change the number text color to white and we're going to decrease the size to something like this looks cool and looks okay now we're going to decrease the spacing like this and we're gonna copy this style we're gonna copy module styles and we're gonna paste the styles on all of our blurbs like this cool now we're gonna copy this module here and we're gonna paste our module here here and here uh, so then uh, we can simply adjust and change the information for example, I have um, added happy clients, projects completed, websites designed, and certificates earned. And then uh, you can change the information respectively. If you're working for your uh, own website, you can go along with this style, with this kind of information style. But if you are making a website for a company, uh, then you can change the information accordingly. Uh, so we have our section ready here. Now let's just go to our original home page and see which section is next. So okay, we have this portfolio section here and uh, it is the best uh, section of my whole website. I actually really love the way I uh, displayed my work. So uh, let's just add a new section here, a regular section and change its background color to 131414. One four. It's it's a really good color if you are trying to make your website in a dark theme. Uh, so let's just save our changes here, and uh, we're gonna uh, add a new row. We're gonna close this, and we're going to copy this heading. Uh, actually, duplicate our heading, and drag it, drop it here, and then we're gonna duplicate our divider here, and we're gonna drag it and drop it here like this and now we're going to simply change the text to our portfolio like this and hit save so now to uh, display our portfolio what we can do is that we're going to add a new row and now it all depends on us that how many projects we want to display on uh, uh, on a single row either we want to showcase two projects three four five or six so let's just say that we are going to display um four projects so let's just simply select this four column row here and um uh, hit close and we're going to simply add an image module here and upload these photos so basically what i did was that i uh, downloaded a free for a uh, commercial use laptop placeholder and then i took snaps screenshots of the websites that i had designed and then with any photo editor i added my work images into uh, the laptop placeholder and the results are in front of you so uh, once we have added our placeholder image 
uh, we can simply add the link of our uh, website of our target website for example this is the website uh, weslake.eu so we're going to simply add the weslake.eu link in this image link url box and make sure that open in light box is checked to off it says no make sure it doesn't open your image in light box otherwise it will look super and really awkward so let's just save our settings here and add image module and select this image here save changes add another image module and uh, change it to something like this uh, one more thing uh, the images that I'm using are uh, PNG so make sure you have your images in PNG or uh, they have a background with 131414 color code so uh, uh, yeah like this cool so we have our portfolio ready so now uh, we can simply duplicate our row and increase the number of our portfolio images and they looks really really cool and really elegant and this is how you can showcase your portfolio in a really cool and unique way so we're gonna save our changes here and now we're gonna see which section is next so uh, okay so we have our testimonial sections here and then we have a youtube video section which i'm not gonna actually uh, create in this video i'm just gonna uh, tell you guys how i created this because um i know not all of you people are going to need this section uh, but anyways uh you can change this section into something like uh, your gallery or, or something related to it so let's just go to our page and add a new section here and this section will have our parallax background image so let's just open up section settings go to background image and um, add this background image here use parallax effect and change the method to CSS and hit save cool so now we have our testimonial sections ready uh, so now we're gonna add a new row here and to display this uh, testimonial code icon we have two different ways first way is that uh, we simply upload an image to our um, website uh, a code image and then we use an image module to display this code icon or the second way is that we create a new row a single column row uh, we add a testimonial uh, module and we simply delete all the text and remove the image as well and change the background color to transparent and now simply go to design code icon change it to transparent the code icon background color and the code icon color change it to white and here we have our um, code icon ready so now let's just decrease the size the spacing of it like this cool now we're gonna add a new row and this row will have our heading so let's just copy our heading here and paste it like this and then again copy our divider here and uh, paste it here like this and now let's just decrease the spacing or the margin again and now let's just change it to testimonials like this and hit save now to display testimonials on our site what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna add a new row a single column row and we're gonna use the slider module like this now the first thing that we're gonna do is that we are going to go to background and change it to transparent close this go to elements and uh, change the arrows to no we don't want to display the arrows so once we have our uh, basic settings changed now what we can do is that we can delete all these slides add a new slide and now what we're going to do is that for the title we're going to remove the title for the button we're going to remove our button 
and for the text we're going to add a testimonial so let's just say that uh, you're super creative and deliver the work on time like this so we have a basic um, testimonial ready now once we have our testimonial ready we're going to press enter and now we're going to add the name of our author of, of or of the person who uh, you know uh, gave us this testimonial so we're going to change it to something like ideas leaders like this web marketing company like this so once we have our text ready we're going to go to design and uh, for for the body text here we're going to change the text color to something like uh, this and uh, we're going to change the font weight to light like this but we're going to save our changes here and select this text here and make it bold like this so now it looks cool so once we have our slide ready, we can duplicate our slide like this and we will have our three slides ready. And now, uh, as you can see that it has a lot of margin. So what we can do is that we can simply decrease this margin. We're going to link the top and bottom margin and decrease it so that it looks perfect. For example, like uh, this and then we're going to decrease the top margin as well so we have our um, testimonial slide already now we can open up the module settings go to design and in the navigation we can change the dot navigation color to this so that it looks cool and it looks according to our color scheme so we have our testimonials ready now we can simply uh, create a contact form first let me just tell you that how I designed this um, section so basically I created a standard section I added a single column row here with the heading with the divider and then I added another single column row and in that I added a video slider uh, module that's it and then I played with the settings so now it's time to uh, create this section so we're gonna simply uh, create and add a new regular section and now we're gonna change the background image to this upload an image and we're gonna change it to use parallax effect and CSS so by the way it will look super awkward because um, between these two sections I had this solid color section which uh, made it look okay but now this time I have two consecutive parallax sections and things will look super awkward anyways uh, let's just add a single column row here like this or maybe let's just duplicate this row here and drag it all the way down to this section like this and delete this row here and change it to contact us so let's just type in contact us like this hit save now let's just add a new row here and add a contact form here and we have our contact form ready uh, we can also add new fields in our contact form like uh, I did I added the subject uh, field uh, as an extra anyways uh, we have our contact form so let's just go to design uh, let's just move this to here go to design and uh, in the fields let's just change the fields background color and decrease its transparency to something like this and change its color to a little bit darker like this and now increase its uh, transparency to uh, something like this RGB 15 15 15 0 0.59 so this is the color code that I'm using here and for the fields text color let's just change it to white and if you want to change the field focus background color we can do so here uh, like I am uh, not actually using it on my main side so let's just keep it the way it is and just simply change the button settings so use custom style for button 
uh, decrease the button uh, text size to 16 pixels and the button text color uh, change it to white on normal state and on hover uh, let's just change it to this yellow color like this and for the button background color let's just change it to transparent on hover but on desktop change it to this yellow here and change the button border radius to 25 pixels like this and change the button border color to this yellow like this looks cool so we have our uh, button ready here we're gonna hit save changes like this uh, so we actually have the site ready so now let's just uh, exit our visual builder and see how is the design okay so we have this typing effect animation we have the social media icons we have this button then uh, when we go down we have this effect we have these two buttons we have our bar counters our stats and everything else then we have our services looks super cool then we have uh, these number counters and we have our portfolio uh, then we have this testimonial here like this and then we have our contact form which looks super cool as well uh, one thing if you want to make your portfolio look even more cool one thing that you can do is that uh, you can simply go on your portfolio image here you can open up its settings go to design filters and on saturation use her effects and on normal mode decrease the saturation to something like uh, let's just say 50 percent and on hover we set it to 100 percent like this so now copy these settings copy module styles paste paste them here as well and paste them here as well so now let's just save our settings here and uh one more thing let's just quickly copy our module here the social media icon module here and in a new row paste our module here like this looks cool uh now let's just again exit our visual builder so we have everything we designed and we wanted to design and now we have these desaturated uh, portfolio images but when we hover over them they get saturated which looks cool so it adds a little bit of animation to our portfolio images and these images don't look static so that's a pretty good thing uh, so we have our site ready and now for the final touch to make it one page what we're gonna do here is that uh, so we have different sections here on our website the about section then we have the services sections we have the portfolio section and we have the contact uh, section so let's just go to our dashboard here now uh, go to appearance and menus now what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new menu here and we are going to name it as menu 2020 we're going to create this menu here and uh, uh, so now what we're going to do is that we are going to add custom links and for the link text we're going to add portfolio like this and we're going to press add to menu so it won't let us add to menu so let's just add a hashtag for now again add a hashtag and change it to contact us like this and add to menu uh, so now we have these two links ready we're going to change its display location to primary menu and save our settings like this now let's just go back to our uh, page here and now we're gonna enable our visual builder and uh, we are going to go to our uh, portfolio section open up its settings and go to advanced CSS ID and add a CSS ID here so let's just add a CSS ID port to this section and save our settings 
now let's just go to contact us section and go to advanced CSS ID and add a CSS ID to this section as well. So let's just add count to this. So we have our two IDs created ready. Now let's just open up a dashboard and go to appearance menus and open up our portfolio here and in the URL bar after the hashtag or the pound sign we are going to add the portfolio sections uh, CSS ID so it was port so we're gonna add hashtag port and save and then in the contact us we're gonna add hashtag cont so you can use any CSS ID but make sure the ID that you enter here is the same as the ID that you give uh, uh, to to your section in the visual builder so once we have our iris input we can simply save our menu and we can refresh our page here and now when when we will click on this link here it will lead us to our section here and when we will click on contact us it will lead us to this contact us uh, section uh, so this is how you can uh, make a one page portfolio website and uh, and if you want to create this kind of header it's really simple uh, I can just show you how I uh, designed this header so let's just go to theme customizer here and I will quickly show you the settings that I made uh, to get this kind of designs so um, in header and navigation the header format is actually a uh, default and primary menu bar, I checked the make full width option. The height is 132, logo max size is 100, and then the text size is 16, letter spacing is 1. Josephine Sands is the font that I am using, and I guess this is the same font that I'm using uh, for my headings as well. And then I have these settings here, and in the fixed navigation settings, I made these settings. I changed the primary menu background color, the text size, and the fixed menu height. So this is how I um, designed my header. And for the footer, I used it to be a theme builder to create this kind of footer. So let's just go to dashboard here and go to Divi and go to a uh, theme builder here. And what I did was I changed the global footer so let's just open up and edit it and show you guys how I designed this footer. So this is the theme builder. I added a new section here and in which I added a new row, uh, a text module. This is the text that I added. So it's really simple. And I also added um, a link to my name which leads to my Instagram so this is how I made a really simple footer as well and this is how I was able to design a really simple but elegant website uh, for my personal portfolio and I really hope that you learned some new things in this tutorial and now you know how I added this typing effect animation and how I added this kind of cool effect as well so if you learned anything from this tutorial or if you find it useful uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and uh, also do let me know in the comments below uh, what kind of website do you want me to design and should i change my color scheme from green from this color uh, to this yellow color because i really love this color now i don't know why uh, and i will be back with another debut tutorial very soon Till then, take care, Alani Gevan, and see you out.